All right, Shalom. I want to start off, and we want to start off with giving all praise on our glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Kagadash. Double honesty, the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations, to hopefully let coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm the brother Ariella. The brother Daniela. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, so we're going to start off in Joel, the third chapter, and we're going to read down to where the Lord, wherever the spirit ends it at. <coughs> And Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. So when you get to the title or the top of, you know, uh, Joel, the third chapter, as you see, as it reads, judgment against enemy nations. So now you have to ask yourself, who are the enemy nations? Matter of fact, bro, can you get Deuteronomy 28 and 68? Come. Right? Because now you're going to ask yourself, who are the enemy nations against the Israelites that the Bible speaks of? Right? Well, let's give you, a, we'll give you a clue right now. Um... Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right. Uh oh, now we're about to go open some more doors. <laughs> Say it, read that again. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Bring thee into Egypt again. What nation was servitude to in the land of Egypt? What nation or, or what people and what place was Moses at? And where the Heavenly Father have sent Moses to deliver these people from? Or had Moses deliver these people from? The land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Okay? But the Lord said what? He would do what again? Bring thee into Egypt with ships. The Lord said he would bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. Okay, so now we got to say, well, wait a minute. There's another Egypt somewhere, mm -hmm. right? You got a preset? Revelation uh, 11 and 8. Yeah, Revelation, this is uh, Revelations chapter... Book of Revelation. 11 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, And their dead bodies mm. shall lie in the street of the great city. Right. Which spiritually is what? Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So there's a place on the earth which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So when you look around the world today, who has the manners, the customs, and the whole resemblance of ancient Egypt? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, America, Babylon, are great. Now we're not stating we're not, you know, saying that this is not the second language Rome as well. We're not saying that this is not, you know, a mystery Babylon. We're not saying that this place isn't uh, also can be titled Basra. Right. And many other names that the scriptures re can refer this place to. But we do know of this place, which is, is spiritually called Sodomy, Egypt. The Sodomy. Look up the word Sodomy. We ain't going to go into it. You Google Sodomy and you see that uh, perverted act. And you tell me if this is not the place where that is heavily promoted. You look at the things that went on in ancient Egypt, the different customs, and tell me these same things are not being heavily promoted today. Right? Makeup. Mascara. Right. Wigs. Wigs. Bowling alleys. Uh, uh, embalming. Um, what else? Uh, Cross-dressing. Cross-dressing. The different Egyptian monuments also. Egyptian monuments. It's some of the Egyptian, old Egyptian names. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Memphis, Memphis. Yep. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, the pyramids, which you can see on the back of the dollar bill. And there's so much more. Okay. So when you do we type in the parallels between modern or ancient Egypt and modern day America, and you can almost do the same thing with uh, ancient Rome and modern day Rome as well. Mm -hmm. You know, because as we say, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. This is also Rome 2.0. Go ahead, speak, brother. Okay, right. This is Rome 2.0, man. You know, all, all the, the, you know, that's why it says, um, when it talks about Egypt and uh, uh, Sodom, it says spiritually Egypt and Sodom. So they, the, the, the type of spirit that was on Egypt, all right, the different things that they were doing at that time, all right, and the, the, the type of spirit that was amongst those Sodomites, is those, those that's the same uh, way of life and spirit that's, Alive here in America, you know, so which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, 
right? And this is where, you know, our, our people who were um, basically in a dead state of mind uh, were dwelling, you know? So, we can read that again. Relations with 11 and 8. Yep. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So, you know, not literally the Lord being um, uh, crucified here, right? But his ways being X'd out. Okay, being crossed out. It says, um, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. So as we read about, um, you know, our different our enemies, man, it says different nations, kindreds and peoples and tongues, man.